Okay guys, Nif here back with some more Doki Doki Literature Club where Monika is non-existent anymore. I know it's like, uh, I don't even know anymore. I still feel bad for her for not existing but I guess we can't do anything about that but continue the game. Which is a very hard thing because she doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's get into it. New game. It's an ordinary high school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I am always tell myself it's about time I meet some girl or something like that. Oh, it's Sayori. Hey, Nif. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were ch children. We used to walk to, to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. <gasps> yes! Yes! Even though I'm still rooting for Natsuki to be but I'm happy I'm fine with Sayori now I feel bad last time I should have picked what you know maybe my feelings were lying to me it was Sayori all this time Nif are you proud of me eh yeah, for what you know for work waking up on time yeah I am proud of you well you've been doing that for a while now uh-huh but you never you said anything about it oh, how do I how did I voice her again oh I've missed her so much you know we walk to school together every day. Oh well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Nif, have you stayed in the club yet? And I want to join the enemy club. The, the real club I actually want to join. Club? I told you already. I'm not. I'm really not. Wait. I start to see what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayuri would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that the clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very own. <gasps> really? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I I, I used to ask myself why I let my why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind into something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is, an or is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I packed up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, but I actually visit about three times, four times, actually a lot of times, being generally, generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly opened the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Nif? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glanced around the room. Huh? So, you're Nif that Sayori was talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Nif. We're the Literature Club. Oh, <laughs> so happy. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. C come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're all really sick or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Nif, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Saw so your eyes lit up. N no way! No way! Ah! What the heck is that voice? <laughs> this is so stupid. So you wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! <laughs> yeah, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become a unofficial recognized club. I don't know what to say. You have to celebrate. Haha, <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah, after all, Natsuki decided to... 
Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Please, don't mo no more twists. I'm happy where this is going. The girls suffer a few deaths to arrange from to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I, sit, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen of white fluffy cupcakes secreted to look like little cats. Ah, oh, I miss this. Whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Aw, oh, so cute. I turn the cup king around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she had made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Uh, well, well, of course it is. I'm a pro and after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea, tea, tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us, the teacher gave us permission. After all, does any hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> Are you trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, uh, that's not it. On insulted, lo Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Nif, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to see something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of you there, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I seeing? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her cup, her teacup, with her finger. My favorite are usual novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in much foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed to so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes sit up that she finds herself comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. I don't feel, in I don't feel intimidated, intimidated if you don't need read much. Wait, don't you feel intimidated if you don't read much? I don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey Yuri! Eh? What about, you know, the first thing he said? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D d don't just see it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is liter literature too, you know? So, if Nif wants to read some of the my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be a little nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Won't you agree, Nif? M maybe, sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's kind of something literature club do, right? I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try to pick up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm the only one. Then, as for Yuri? Eh? I have to read manga? Yes! You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. 
Ha I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. Aw. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy form of literature. Are you sure you're saying that? No. I've realized my errors. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you'd do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. No, not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Hayuri, shut up! <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with Nif? What, what the heck is wrong with Game Nif? I'll show, I'll show you some manga here too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Aw, that's so good! <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Nif. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you, Sayori. With you around, Sayori. Aw, Nif. Don't see something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were stand starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Nif. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Wait, what? She knows? Uh oh. Now, now I'm getting scared again. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Nif. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But, so if you're president now, you turn evil. So no one here can ever be normal. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh, crap. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Uh-oh. Forever and ever. Uh, or... Uh... Eh, her no okay eh oh great great oh, what's happening i won't let you hurt him what what the heck what the heck is this this game is not like i can say when's the ending who it hurts ah i'm sorry i was wrong there's no happiness after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Nif. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh, it's Monika. Ah, uh, I see. There will never be a good ending. There can never be a good ending. Wow, I was hoping for a good ending, but no. Oh. I'm not really any good at it yet. Like, okay, listen. Oh, it's Monica. Really, really so, oh, Monica's so cute at voice. Then by playing audio DDLC. Oh, I knew it. That was the song she was making. Oh my oh. oh Oh my god Oh I feel so Oh my Oh Oh I feel so bad for Monica. She just wanted to be loved. 
Good session That's today. Special day. Oh. Oh, wow. I love this song. So, that's the real ending. Right there. I actually finished it. Wait, are they actually deleting the files? Wait, actually are they deleting files? I'm gonna look at the files later on. But, holy crap. So, oh, we heard Monika's cute voice. Here we are. This is actually the real ending. I don't know because this is still the same session where the last episode is. So, there's, or is this whatever episode this is? There's, so, there's a chance I just placed it in one episode and discontinued it. Because, you know. Oh, what the heck is this? I didn't ever get to reach those. So cute. Oh. Dang. Well, that was a good game. The heck is this? Hmm. It was an awesome game, and wow, really awesome game. I don't. I can't, I'm speechless though. It's like, what can I say? The game is amazing in so many ways. Um, what else? <sighs> Special thanks, Monica. <laughs> I should should been reading those. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, let's move. Script RP. Made with love by Team Salvato. Yeah. Awesome game. I can't, I'm just speechless. I'm just like, awesome game. Yeah. Everlasting. Okay, before I read that, I just want to say thank you for Team Salvato for making such an awesome game. It's like, this is. Wow. That psychological horror and a bit of heartbreaks and stuff, it's just messes your, with your brain. It's un, with unpredictable stuff. You just wouldn't expect those things to happen. It, this is a proof that you shouldn't judge a game by its cover in so many ways because the game could just flip you over in any time. And also, you should always freaking read everything. Try and get into it before you... I mean, try and know more before you get into it. That's where I learned a lot in this game. And how amazing they are making this. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand Literature literature Club is a truly, truly a place where there no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to horrific reality. A reality that our world is not even designed to comprehend. I can't let the, any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For this time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Ah, <sighs> Monica. Hashtag. Guys, everyone, hashtag best waifu Monica. Everyone, come on. Error, script file is missing, or crop. Please reinstall the game. Whoa, really? Oh. Well, there you go. Blank screen again. And, um, yeah. Um, tr refreshing the game. And, yeah. So, I don't know what now. I uh, guess this is goodbye. Wait, give me a moment. I'm, re I'm o reopening the game. Let's see what's happening. Okay. I reopened the game. Oh, it is just... Oh, okay. It just says same crap and I can't open it anymore. So, blank screen. Yeah, everything. Probably just add some random stuff there. Like memes. And I just want to say thank you for everyone who actually watched everything. Or even a singular episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. This whole series was fun for me to play. This whole Let's Play. And, wow, it's been a good journey. It's been an awesome journey playing this. There's a lot of stuff that happened, and I can't say I'm normal anymore after seeing those. I felt like I went insane after playing that game, but all in all, it was an awesome game. I keep saying awesome and amazing. It's like, because it is. 
I know there's a lot of flaws in the game, but actually, is there? I, I you know probably if I do the walkthrough, I can see the flaws. But other than that, for a free visual novel game, it's it was a worthy thing. It was it was worth to play because it's free. First of all, it's free, and if you watch the whole the if you play the whole thing, it's just wow. That free is worth it. I guess it's not worth for your sanity going down, but th that the game itself is worth it. It's worth it to play, and that's it for now. So I just want to say goodbye to ever uh, <laughs> ever less Doki Doki Literature Club, and thank you for watching. Goodbye to everyone as well who watched this and the whole series. It was an awesome journey. So see you guys there. Bye bye.